during that pandemic, you know, we did have problems, but on the flip side, you know, I know all the restaurants were having problems. Yeah. They could only take call in orders. And a lot of restaurants only have one phone line. Yeah. Which means you can only take one order for as however long that takes. Even if you have four phone lines, which you know is maybe average for a larger restaurant, they can only take four orders at within this. And you've got to have four people to take those orders. Yeah, that's where like online ordering just you know, well, our our system theoretically can take a thousand orders a second. You know, it's mm-hmm. we can take tons of orders. So, um, yeah, we were you know different times we were overloaded, but at the same time, like the we were just a, a lifeline um, mm-hmm. to a lot of the restaurants in the community yeah. to be able to just get orders because the community wanted to support them. Right, you know, that was, was encouraged, it was right? Huge. was encouraged to go out and shop local was, and, and yeah. eat local and, and do that. And um, I mean, then, you know, I, I, I don't know what the stat is. Somewhere between 20 and 30% restaurants, you know, had to close down because yeah. they just couldn't make it during the pandemic. But mm. being able to at least accept an order online um, was a way for the restaurant to be able to get paid. It's yeah. just nice. Oklahomans, working for Oklahomans, literally serving Oklahomans. So yeah. It's, it's kind of nice. Yeah, our, our kind of close to home story with that. I know you've interviewed Rachel Cope, uh-huh. and uh, you know we we had been hitting up the eighty four hospitality group, trying to get their concepts, uh-huh. you know, to, to partner with us, yeah. and had been uh, we piqued their interest, but they, we, you know we weren't successful yet. And they right. had Goro Ramen in the Plaza District, uh-huh. and um, uh, Goro didn't have an online ordering solution, and so. Uh, they were getting you know phone calls just ringing off the hook, but mm-hmm. they were also getting posts on their Instagram uh, that said, "Hey, uh, you know, I, was, I tried to order. The phone was busy like eight times in a row. I'm going yeah. elsewhere." So it was just literally blat- losing blatantly business. obvious yeah. to them that they were losing business. Yeah. And uh, we we drove down to Goro. Um, our salesperson Angela uh, and I drove down to Goro on a Friday afternoon you know mm-hmm. with our masks on during the pandemic and uh, kind of got contract agreements with them installed our device on their network and uh, they were calling us all day Saturday like are you ready are you ready are you ready <laughs> we're like no like yeah. this takes time yeah. to do it right I don't want to overlook something and then you right. know suddenly we've lost thousands of dollars because there's bad data right well this is your one chance too right because yes. you know 84 hospitality they have a f- bunch mm-hmm. of concepts yeah. in the city and, and yeah. everyone talks don't yeah. they so you know you don't want to ruin that first opportunity no and, by and rushing they, they, they pushed us as fast as we could go and finally at 4.30pm on Saturday 24 hours later yeah. We put them into production. They posted on their Instagram, hey, order now, you know, through this link, and literally did twenty twenty six hundred dollars between yeah. four thirty PM and closing on on a Saturday. And it was like what just happened? Light bulb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what just happened? Here? Yeah. <laughs> they saw it. Yeah. 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 And so it's stories like that. We just were working as fast as we possibly mm-hmm. could. So 